Hi there folks, welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. I hope you're doing really well. This is day two of our chalk stream fishing adventure and we're very, very lucky today that we're fishing a stretch of the River Itching that is available uh, to book through the gentleman on my left, Simon Cooper. Simon, first off, thank you very, very much for organising all of this for us. Really, really appreciate it. That's all right. Check the invoices in the post. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about uh, the River Itching and specifically the Canara beat that we're on. Well, we've had Canara actually not for very long, but it actually is quite a famous history in chalk stream letting. It was, a, it was, it's been in the same ownership for forty or fifty years. Um, but it was, do you remember the Rob Box? Oh yes, Ian Hay. Yes, and Ian's Ian's father, Scrappy Hay. Okay. So Scrappy Hay knew the owners. The, 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 the father of the current owner, mm -hmm. and they did day rod lettings there back in the late 60s. So they must have been one of the very first beats ever to be available just for day rods. And um, so that carried on until the rod box sort of changed its mojo a few years ago and, and we took it over. Fantastic. And the, the name is quite unusual. Is there any particular provenance to the word Canara? Well, I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. No idea where the name come, came from. But the, we own the, well, the, the, and we manage the beat directly above, which is called King Yazi. Yep which was changed from Kingfisher Lodge because the current owners are the wife is Mandarin Chinese okay. and she wanted to change the name of her home to reflect her heritage yep. and King Yazi means placid water oh, in nice. Mandarin Chinese. So anyway, so I put this up on the Fishing Breaks website and you know, said we're changing the name of Kingfisher Lodge and we had 17 pages of abuse on social, <laughs> oh, <laughs> on social media saying, you know, you know, you can't change the name, it's <laughs> British heritage, it's British chalkship. And I pointed out to them that Canara, which has been called Canara for as long as anyone knows, is actually named after a spice growing region in India. A tr traditionally British, yeah, yeah interesting name, so there we go. Well, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. We have pla placid water, it's beautiful yeah. as well, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it was interesting actually, so you guys sent some really detailed maps out for mm -hmm. us, which we appreciated. Uh, I've looked at the map and it looks like there is a, is there a second river that runs alongside the river? I know that, I know the, the, the river systems here are slightly more mm. complicated. No, it's not a river, though in part it looks like a river. It's what's called the itch and navigation. Okay. And it was a canal that was dug from Winchester, or above Winchester, down to, uh, I think somewhere in Southampton. And was, you know, from about 1700 through to the mid 1800s, big waterway, bringing up goods and what have you for, to Winchester from, the, from, the, from Southampton port. Um, but of course fell into disrepair once the railways came around, went bankrupt and it is now part of the Itchen Way, you can walk along it, and parts of it are, are fishing. But on the subject of the fishing, so what are we expecting to encounter on the Canara Beat at the Itchen? What will we be looking for? Well, it's an interesting beat. You'll often see salmon. Oh wow. Very rarely caught, but see salmon. You'll see some good sea trout. They're more commonly caught because, um, and as you and you as you will have seen, have you been or are you on? I know. I've 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 never I've never been down there. No, I understand. We're pretty close to the coast there. Aren't you we? are not many so, miles from the coast. Yeah, about ten miles, and you'll be oh, in wow. the, ten miles less than ten miles, and you'll be in the sea. But there's a huge pool there, which is fed by the main river and some water that comes off the navigation and you get a lot of salmon and sea trout the rest up in that. That would be a, that would be a, a interesting thing yeah. to meet with a trout rod. It would, yep. Yeah. No, we've had a few caught from time <laughs> to time on the you know, little, the most popular fly for catching salmon on the itch and on that particular part is a gold ribbed pheasant tail. Ah, pheasant tail. I reckon IB's got a few of those <laughs> in her fly box. So, so that's that, but largely this is a brown trout water. Okay. Yep, yeah. uh, brown trout, dry fly and nymph, very few rainbows, good reasonable head of grayling, so that's what you'll expect to catch. And the brown trout, is there a mixture of wild and stocks? Is it supplemented? It's definitely stocks, yep. um, but there's a, it's, it's actually good spawning gravel when you, when you, when you've, the beet is, it's, a, it's an all wading beet, and you'll notice it really splits into two sections, above and below the pool. Above the pool 
it's quite shallow and quite fast so that's great spawning territory that's very good nursery water for young brown trout and then below the pool it's much deeper I mean some parts of it are really quite difficult to wade especially early in the season and that's where the bigger lazier fish lie so you touched on there that we can wade mm -hmm. this part of the itching, which I must admit is one of the attractions, it's one of the reasons why we wanted to fish it, yeah. particularly I think we've picked the right weather yeah. to wade it, it's very very hot. That's quite unusual isn't it, to be able to wade a, a chalk stream beat, or is, it, is that unusual? It, it's definitely unusual in Hampshire, Yeah, um, I, I would say um, of all our, well we have about 35 or 40 beats and only about 20% of them are wading okay. beats ac across the piece but in Hampshire definitely unusual so it's nice to be able to do. Particularly in this weather. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well I think on that note IB and I need to go and get our waders on which is going to be really cool in a chalk stream and go and find some fish. And we're by the river. Yay, thank you very much to Simon there for giving us the heads up and all the info on the Canara Beat of the Itchin, which is absolutely beautiful, it is isn't so it? Pretty. It's such a pretty piece of river. Actually, it feels a little like home, doesn't it? It's a little bit like the Derbyshire Wire, a couple of the limestone streams, a lot clearer. A lot clearer. Uh, we're already seeing fish. We've walked down, we've put all the stuff in the hook, we're already seeing rising fish. It's I what, know. 11 o'clock? So exciting and it is still scorcher hot. Apparently today is supposed to be even hotter than it was yesterday. 34, 35 degrees. It's going to be a bruiser. But as Simon said, as well as being able to fish the dry flies, we can fish a nymph in here as well. So worst case scenario, you know, don't get me wrong. We're on the chalk streams. We would rather do this with dry flies. If push comes to shove, we'll chuck a nymph in here today. I think we'll have probably earned it by we then. We have options and yeah. that's good. And yeah. the other good thing for me is, is that it, because we can wade and have a dip in, I think we're going to manage being hot a little bit different today we can just cool ourselves down a little bit yeah and it's an unusual thing as we've said to be able to wade in one of these chalk streams so actually that'd be quite a nice experience to be able to get in uh, make some longer casts stalk some fish around corners and stuff like that i'm really looking forward to the wading aspect me too me too just the whole day in general it's so exciting this is going to be really fun this is your first sight of the itching isn't it it is the first sight yes what do you reckon so far I just really want to catch that fish that I've seen rising. <laughs> yeah. It was smashing something so aggressively that I'm, yeah, and it was a big fish. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got three rods rigged up. We've got the dry fly rod that we usually use a 10 foot four weight. We've got an eight foot four weight rigged up with a little indicator for fishing an infundry if we need to. And we've even got a French leader rod set up. Now we can only fish one fly on here, but I reckon that French leader setup might work in some of these deeper riffles. I, guess I think so, yeah. There's only really one way to find out, isn't there? By getting in the water and catching some fish. Let's go catch some fish. Ooh. <sighs> right, so I'm having the first day because Andy started the day yesterday and we have seen a lot of fish rising here. So wish me luck. I'm going to go in, try and catch it, try and make it look as easy as possible. Fingers crossed, I catch, I catch that fish. What do you think, Andy? Yeah, I'm back First in cast? The, yeah, nice big caddis, a little bit of skate maybe. Let's do it. Oh my God, it's clear. It's so clear. I think that's just me saying that for like the last the whole day yesterday and for this two days I'm just gonna keep repeating how clear the water is very windy oh the fish right big railing big railing probably just spooked him with my rod Landed on his tail. Just got him though. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. Just not in those weeds, please. Not in those weeds. He's in those weeds. Oh god. I might just have to go in there and just nab him. Oh, pulling. Pulling. You might be able to get him out of the weed there. There we go. He's out. Don't go into the other weed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! <laughs> well, perhaps it wasn't the first cast that I was talking about, but it's still a fish. F off. So really, really cool. Not perhaps not the first cast, but what third, fourth cast later. So that was too easy, if anything. Uh, it is a really, really big fish. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a lift. 
There it is, my first itching fish. So Ivy's done really well there to get us on the board early. It's interesting that the other fish showed no interest at all in her big caddis pattern. So I've switched to a, a little back beetle. I just wonder if that might stir these fish up. Maybe the sound of it landing. It may be what they're eating. They're, they're smashing something. They hit it really hard. There's no caddis around, so it's worth a go. Right, there's a fish bang down the middle. Two fish bang down the middle. This will be interesting. Uh, he never really looked at it. Try that again with a little shake. No huge reaction. Nah. Nah, that's not going to be the one for him. Fish further upstream. God, there's a lot of fish in this pool. No, he dived out of the way of it. It's not the reaction we were looking for. That covers the fish at the back again. He's having a look. No. Under the tree here. No great interest in this yet. Got him. <laughs> Until that one, something was right about that drift. <laughs> well, I'd heard a fish rise above me. I had, I had seen him out the corner of my eye. This is the point where I realized I haven't picked up the net. Try and keep him as high in the water as possible. I don't want him to dive down into these reeds. So they're ever so thick. If you can throw it in front of me, yeah, good job. Oh, he didn't like your net throwing skills. Come on, buddy. Black foam beetle for the win. Are you going to come in early? It'd be a big help. It'd be a big help. Yeah. What do you reckon, Ivy? What happened there? Why did he eat that one and not the others? I don't know. I think it's just because you weren't looking at it. <laughs> right, that's it. Next time we cover a fish, I'm going to close my eyes. So always worth a change of fly, just because those fish didn't eat Ibis caddis didn't mean they weren't going to eat. Perhaps just a different presentation, perhaps just a different fly, I don't know. There was definitely something different. It's an absolute unit of a fish that got him really quickly, so he's still pretty fresh. One of the nice things about the cold water in the chalk streams is it means that these fish have always got loads of energy. That is huge. Absolutely massive fish. Let's get him back. Back you go. That is absolutely awesome. Brute of a fish. Whose go is it, Ivy? Mine. Damn it. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. <sighs> Wasn't mine. <laughs> Completely <laughs> shat myself. You had a little panic there. <laughs> totally shat myself. Ooh. That's right on his nose. Very dry. Getting further up? I am very calm. I am very calm. I am not panicky. Six X, six X, don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, stop doing that. No. No. Yes. Yes. It doesn't fit. <laughs> because of the net. Oh my God. 
That is an absolute horse of a fish. That is absolutely f***ing <gasps> massive. It's <laughs> falling out in the net. That is huge. Oh my god. In truth, I, I didn't realise how big the fish is until I looked at the fish while it was in the net. Even when I was netting it, I knew it was a big fish. I didn't know just how big it is. And it's massive. So I'm not going to play around with it because it is a hot day and the fish is huge. But I'm very, very grateful. Clearly wants to get away full of energy. But my second river itching fish. Oh my god. It's massive. It's huge. Such a good feeling to hold a trout of that size. I am not going to lie. I'm so glad I made that cast. I am so blessed that we are on this water today and I'm so blessed that I had this trout but I think unfortunately now it's Andy's turn I'm just I'm pretty sure Andy will not meet will not beat my size of the trout so second day in a row running I had the biggest fish of the day we'll see IB what a start you've got us off to there again <laughs> Talk us through that. Uh, basically, I am the best fisherman all around and it doesn't matter where I go, I still keep catching the biggest fish of the day. I think you need to start pulling your weight up a little bit. What was your fly selection? Uh, a little beetle that I actually haven't changed from the the fish that Andy caught, the yeah. fish before, yeah. yeah. So. So we share that fish 50-50 then, well, do we? Well, no, we don't. What, no, what? we don't. Because you know what? I wanted to change the Jokadis and then I thought, oh, I might just have a couple of casts. So it was my idea, actually, oh, okay. to, to keep the beetle. So, yeah, okay. If anything, it was the beetle's honour to be casted <laughs> by me. That's the way I think. What's your initial impressions of the river rich in Kanara Beach? It's so stunning and beautiful here. You, the fact that you can see these fish and you can see how they act. Obviously, it was the same yesterday as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Just fishing on a chalk stream in general. The fact that you're able to see how the fish reacts and if you move the fish, if it flinches, if it comes up and have a look. We don't have really that much. Not to that level. Not the why the why and the last yeah. kill are very very clear. Yeah. The last kill particularly, but we probably don't have it to this extent. Yeah, and especially like it's not it's not just like a fish that you can see when the sun is shining like you can see every single fish in this river you can almost pick and choose which fish you want to catch well you did then didn't you well clearly because you're gonna catch you want to want to catch the biggest fish and um i do think that that fish only wanted out, out of, almost like out of an aggression because i wanted it quite close to him same as the fish before as well and it kind of just wanted it straight away well if i was letting it like if I was letting the drift quite like further up and the fish had plenty of time to see it, it wasn't that bothered. No, it wasn't at all. So I think now we're going to try and perhaps pick another fish from here that we would want and then just walk the river upstream and, and see what we can do because there's so many, there's a, a variety of water, isn't there? It is it's a really not... diverse stretch, yeah. this, isn't it? There's a yeah. lot going on, slow pools like this with weed, there's some fast riffles, there's some... Very deep pools as well. Yeah, absolutely. There's going to be plenty of fish to go out. There's trout and grayling as well. I haven't seen many grayling down here, so perhaps that's a target as yeah. we go upstream as well. But nice yeah, big grayling. I definitely think one more out of here would be nice. Yeah, for you. For Try me? Try and beat my size. Oh yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> Sticking with the foam beetle, I think IB's definitively proved that they like that thing. Just going to take a couple of steps downstream, so I'm fishing upstream. Just about on the beat limit here. I won't go too much further down than that. Now let's try that to start with. 11 minutes later. Friends, I'm not quite sure what these fish are eating. There's certainly not a whole lot on the water. Oh, oh, is he going to eat it? Oh, crikey. But they don't seem too committed to eating this thing. I think it's a fly change at that. Right, back in we get this time with a little CDC and elk. Look at the fly change on these guys, they've gone for a, a clink hammer. Okay, so I've just put one of IB's foam duns on. Right, starting to get through the fly changes a bit here. I've gone for a little balloon caddis in a size 16. These fish seem to be pretty keyed in on the sound of that fly landing. And this thing does land with a little bit of a plop. Oh, 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 he had a good glance at that. He had a pretty good glance at that. That was interesting. 
Having said that, he's, he's looked at most things. IB made this look very easy before, and now it doesn't feel quite as easy. Ah, just seen something else fell off that tree and a fish ate it straight away. Second it landed. Okay, there's a fish just upstream on the far side that's risen quite consistently, but he is right up against the far bank. That's going to be short of him. It's not a bad sighter, but that's definitely not going to cover him. Okay, we'll try that. Oh, covers him nicely. Covers him nicely. He had a little glance at that, but not much more than a little glance. Got him. Got that one. Finally. Crikey, plenty of fly changes, but eventually found a winner. I think that's as much about the cast as the fly. Keep him up out of these weeds. We've got ever such thick weeds in front of us. Keep him out of there if possible. Crikey. You've come this way pretty quick, actually. Could I stun you in? Could I stun you in? Come on. In you come. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> IB, you're making this look way too easy. So I'm not really sure if that's a victory for selecting the right fly, or as IB and I've just been discussing off camera, actually just about finding fresh fish that we hadn't already covered with other flies. I just feel like perhaps these fish in the main pool are getting a little bit aggy with us being there. They're continuing to feed, but probably at a, a lower amount. Whereas he was more than happy to gulp down that caddis at the first attempt. There you go, buddy. Okay, we've kept working up. IB's given me the rod, because we've got a real tricky inside bank fish. Not being familiar with the itching. I'm not entirely sure where you can and can't put your feet. It's reasonably deep, just here. But I think I can get myself into a half decent position to cover this one. Reasonable amount of line. I don't want to get too close to him. The wind's kind of on the side. That might do. That might do. No, not quite. Oh, yep. got him. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Nice fish. That was really cool. Well, she saw him bow wave out towards the fly. <laughs> Jeez, he's off upstream. I can't really move anywhere from him in pretty deep water. He is off. Wow. Definitely the toughest fish I've hooked today. He is away up there. Whoa, whoa. Now that dragged down a notch, I think. Yeah, the little fish have, uh, have got to wait for the moment. Thank you very much, IB. IB's just thrown a net at me. Cool, oh, strong fish. Really strong fish. Switch arms just for the moment, just to get him away from there. Ooh, big head shakes. Keep him up. Really feel like I've got much control over this fish still. Fighting far harder than the others. Oh, not in the weed. Not in the weed. It's definitely the definitely the hardest fighting fish we've hooked today. Give up. Why are you fighting so much harder? Are you about ready? No. No. Not in there. No. Come on, buddy. That'll do. That'll do. We are going to put you back. Oof. No, not downstream because it's real deep down there. No. Oh, here we go. I've got to bring him back up the river. Oh, it is a big fish, isn't it? It is a big fish. He's rolled for me once. I'm in a horrible position here. Don't like this at all. Try and get this guy above me. Come on, that'll do, that'll do, that'll do. 
Let me take, let me take. Ah, jeez. So much stronger than the others. That four weight's taking the strain. Oh, God, he's shot on the weed. Come on, I'll do it. Oh, I don't, couldn't have, couldn't have turned at a worse time. Hey. Oh, it is big fish, isn't it? Oh, I bet you might be in trouble there. What a scrap that was. Absolutely huge fish. Let me give this guy a quick lift. Look at that. It's massive. Absolutely enormous fish. Let's get him back. Oh, look at that. That's a massive fish. Huge fish. Be a wee bit tired. That was a strong fight. Are you gonna go? Turns out where I put my hand to lean on the bank wasn't the bank. Nope. No, that was that stuff. Yeah. We're new around here, all right? Give some slack. That should cover it. Or no? Come on, you're not even that big. Stop messing around. Yes, you. Yes, you. Woo. I think this child forgot what size it's supposed to be. Come on, dude. Is it? Still on. Is it? Yeah, it's gone through the hole in your net. This will be interesting. <laughs> Shall I go and grab the other net? No, it's fine. Yep. Yep. Okay. Sure that's, that's a different type of netting, isn't it? I think that's how it's supposed 10 to out of 10 for invention, though. Yeah. Let's unhook him straight away before he escapes again. Sip that tiny little um, caddis right up. It wasn't coming off, that's for sure. I'm going to do it with the tiniest of lifts because he did give me an epic fight. There you go, buddy. Now you can go. You don't even have the fly anymore. There he goes. Whew. I don't mind being in the water because it's like 100 degrees outside. It's genuinely, I think, going to be the hottest day of the year. It's a lot hotter than it was yesterday. Um, and I think what we're going to do now, I'm going to try and walk the, this pool and pick up a few more with Andy's permission. That I'm not giving him the rod yet and then oh there was a riser that's mine that fish is mine <laughs> and then Andy can pick the rod up when we're in a bright hot sun again thanks babe you're welcome righty so I'm just climbing into a spot that IB's been fishing um, IB started to overheat it is the hottest time of day on what is probably going to be the hottest day of the whole year it is scorchy and I spent the last 45 minutes in the shade while IB has been toiling away in the hot sun so We've done a switcheroo for a moment. I'm going to have a slightly different cast in position to her because I prefer to throw a sidearm cast. So I'm going to go a long way across the river. That'll just open up a bit more space for me. It does mean it's going to be harder for me to see the fish, 
but I've got IB up there spotting for me. That's a nice fish in front of me. Lovely rise, that's a pretty good drop. Got him, yes, awesome. Fantastic, oh wow, he's come straight at me, straight at me. Oh God, what have we got? Oof. Oof. That was exciting. He's going that way. Just on the inside of that bend there. Just slurp something down. Next cast, bang on. Here's a trout. I was just for a split second there. I thought I caught a flash of silver. I thought that might be a big grayling, but it's definitely a trout. And he's just started to realise what's going on. Oh, plink. Come on, buddy. Yep, yeah, I know. No, okay. Oh, crikey. Oh, too much pressure on the hook hold. Come to this side. Come to this side, what's the worst that can happen? Are you ready? Will that do? Will that do? Yes! Good stuff, pretty fish. Let's have a look at you and get you back straight away, it's too hot to, too hot to do too much. There we go. Big old bruni. Nice release, good stuff. IB, what do you reckon? It's the hottest part of the day. Is it about time we went for a, a quick snack and a glass lunch. of fruit juice? It's lunchtime. Well, that's been a pretty long lunch. I know. What started out as a half an hour break has been two hours of... Oh, it hasn't been two hours. Ice. And in fairness, we kept sneaking out to the river every now and again with a rod to catch a fish. We did sneak a couple two. out there, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, yeah we, so might have, we might even be rolling a little bit out over the top of the have, over the top yeah, of this waffle now. A few catches. But we've got to the point of the day now where the sun is off the water. Actually, I noticed up there, I don't know if you can see this, there's some clouds building. It feels like we're on the we're on the border of a change of weather here. Uh, but definitely at the moment the heat of the day is starting to drop out. It's a lot more comfortable, it's a lot nicer. And we still got two thirds of this beat to go. Kanara is a really beautiful beat. It's very diverse. We've only fished the bottom 400 yeah, meters, if yeah. that, probably not even that. We've barely touched it. So we've got loads of space still to go, and that's the idea from here. But from here, it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Yeah, a little bit different. I think there's going to be a lot more prospecting the water. Uh, hopefully, uh, the water that would be a bit better, more suitable for grayling, because we do want a grayling, don't we? We want to catch a grayling. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the other thing is we need to make use of the fact that we're allowed to nymph this. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And the thing, to be fair, we've just been talking off camera, I really want to go and chuck a nymph into this, what is it called? Like a Oh, the, like the sluice thing. gate, yeah. yeah. The flow here it looks like it should be the right kind of place for a, for a big trout doesn't it yeah so i want to throw an imp in there and just see if i can uh, wiggle one out um but so far it's been so amazing we were sat here so chilled knowing that we caught some good quality fish and hopefully that we're going to catch a few more good quality fish and the fact that you have the sound of the river and a nice hut nice lovely day it's just been like a true blessing today hasn't this it? is a really so nice. beautiful piece of water tucked away in the yeah. middle of in the middle of all the chalk streams the canara be at the itch and really is something particularly special and the fact we're allowed to wade it, i really like the fact that we can wade this i think it, it, that was the difference today between being oh my god i'm too hot i can't fish to yeah crack on yeah yeah it's been a lot Let's more comfortable being able to yeah. get in the water that nice cool clear chalk stream water and it's given us a chance to make presentations at fish that maybe we couldn't have done otherwise. 100%, so. Because some of the beads, like this one in front of us now, it's quite big. Yeah. You wouldn't be, never be able to cast that from the bank, like ever. Um, yeah, so it's been nice. Unfortunately, today our lunch wasn't as nice as yesterday with <laughs> yeah. a nice steak and Pete salad. Pete spoiled us yesterday, didn't he? Yeah, <laughs> today we had some hobnobs. Yeah, 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 a few snack jacks and a hobnob and a couple of bottles of water. It's probably for the best. Yeah, probably for the best. Speaking of water. I'm going to get in there now, throw a few nymphs, and hopefully I catch either a nice grayling or a nice trout. That'll do us. Right, so after the break, I can try and nymph one out, hopefully. And I did have a, a sneaky cast here earlier, and he had a nice trout that I got a bit jealous of. I'm not going to lie, because the ones that I was catching, they were dinky ones. Right. Oh, the 
This is nice water, isn't it? Lovely. Lovely, jubbly. It is quite fast, though. Very, very fast. So we're fishing it quite fast. That's a trout. That's a trout. Everybody, that's a trout. Oh my god, it's not a trout. A I think so, yeah. No, it's not. I'm just blind. Not very excited, you? I know. It's definitely a trout. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! Not the biggest of today, 100% not the biggest, but it is a trout and he did take the nip and I'm happy with it. Go on, buddy. Oh! That woken me up from my lunch and I think I am ready to catch a few more. What do you guys think? Okay, Ibis giving me the rod back. We've had a bit of a walk upstream and found another rise or another one of those right up against the inside bank. In truth, it's a little bit quiet. I've just kicked the net off my back. It's a little bit quiet at the moment. It's just kind of hit that funny portion of the day. We were just talking about it off camera. And while we could prospect a load of water up here, there's so much good looking water. We don't really want to. <laughs> I think we'd both rather walk along and try and sight a few out. Whether it's on the nymphs or dries, I think we'd rather We'd rather see these fish. 12 seconds later. So about 10 minutes ago, I said I didn't really want to do any prospecting, but actually we've just walked up the top half of the beat and while we've seen some beautiful water, we haven't seen any rises. So I'm going in with a little indicator rig. This is gorgeous water in front of me. Every chance for a big grayling in here. Oh, what have I got? What have I got? What have I got? A little trout. I assume it's a trout from the jump. There we go, beautiful little fish. Oh wow, yeah, it's a gorgeous fish. Beautiful little wild itching brownie. There we go. Maybe that's the way I'd be. Maybe we need to nymph a few out while it's quiet. Nah. Let's try this again. Come on, Graylin. That's not a grayling. <laughs> that's definitely not a grayling. Oh wow, that's a much bigger fish than I thought. Yeah, that's a biggie. That's a biggie. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to chase him down, I think. Very flat. That's a huge fish. Oh my goodness. That is a massive fish. Do you know what? That could be a salmon. It's not, it's not impossible, that's a salmon. Well, if it's been in here a while. They don't stay silver forever. Deep hole on the inside to land him in, hopefully. All this weed on the line isn't helping. Will you come in? No. It's a big, big fish. Oof. Oof. Just need to get him in a spot where I can land him. And do you know what? I'm going to try and come around the other side of him. This thing is absolutely kicking off. Totally different. It's only just hooked as well. Come on, that'll do. That'll do. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, what a fight and what a fish. It's huge. Absolutely massive fish. Possibly the biggest fish of the day. Incredible scratch. Oh, but he definitely wants to go back. That is absolutely enormous. Getting points in the right direction. Big dark fish. Thought for a second it could be one of the salmon that move up here. Not quite used to catching fish this big. There he goes. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking perhaps a nice big grayling or another one of those wild browns, but that is absolutely freaking massive. <laughs> I'd be I'd set a pretty high bar there. I think that might even have been bigger than yours. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> Right, so I have changed to a wrench leader just so I could have a, a, a little bit, oh, straight away. I could get the nymphs down a bit better and also I would get a, a better drift through and it works straight away. I really want to get it underneath those trees. Yeah. Ooh, it's taking line. Ooh, flashing, 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 flashing. It might be a grayling. Oh no, it's a trout. It's not a grayling. It's a big trout. It's a big trout. It's a big trout. Oh my god. Oh my god! Is it? It's fine. It's fine. Woo! I just had a trout shower. It's, it's disgusting. It's all over my face. So that was really, really cool. And clearly the French leader paid off. And Andy's advice to use a French leader instead of uh, my indicator rig definitely worked. The trout is very very strong and really wants to go back so we're gonna put him oh there he goes and i think i need to catch one more okay so we've decided we want to catch one more fish before the end of the vlog and ideally on a dry fly so we've come back down to the first pool we fished to give this one one last go in truth it's pretty quiet but we have got one fish sipping just underneath the tree across from me here that might be worth a go with a little olive pattern we'll see Well, that last pool didn't go very well, did it? No, not really, no, no. It's gone super quiet. We were a little bit surprised at this. I and mean, where we fish back in Derbyshire and Staffordshire, generally it's quiet throughout the day. And then as the evening starts to go through, it starts to bubble up and things start to get a little bit more active. But actually, this is twice in two days now where it's felt like these fish are more active during the daytime the day, than during yeah. the evening. It's like the, the, the exact opposite of yeah. what we have. I just wonder if it's got anything to do with the unseasonably kind of hot temperatures in these fish that maybe the river rises a degree or two in temperature and then it then it kind of puts the fish down a little bit I don't know but it, it feels quiet at the moment. Mr Andy Buckley who says he's finished fishing. One last cast. Very gentle. Oh it's a big fish. It's a real oh, it's a big fish. Who told you what fly to put on? I be called the fly. She said for a big caddis at that one. Oh, it's a big fish. And at the moment you have more line out than you were when you hooked him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he um, he went that way. Out of the weed, out of the weed. It's the problem with being upstream with these fish is they can bury in the weed. Out there as well. It's a good looking fish as well. Yeah, all about OB's fly change, that one. Thank you, Mrs. No worries. I'm sorry for interrupting the outro, but that just got a little bit exciting. What a fish this is. Oh my goodness. Huge fish. 
Absolutely incredible. Great fight. Loads of energy. Back he goes. All right, IB, Andy, get on with the outro. So I think rather than stay up super, super late in the hope that there might be a spinner fall on a river we don't know, we haven't really seen any blue wings hatch, have we? I think we're gonna call it there, aren't we? Yeah, it's not like we haven't had enough fish. Like, we had <laughs> we, so many fish. We had plenty of we fish about four them hours at like ago. Two o'clock. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this has been a ridiculous day in conditions like this to catch the amount of fish there's a rise. There's a rise. It might <laughs> the, not be going Yeah, on. the amount of fish, the size of fish, it's just bonkers. Yeah, absolutely yeah, bonkers. It's and we've crazy. caught them on dries and we've caught them on nymphs. We've caught them on all three techniques that we yeah. brought with us. So it was in, I think it was important that we brought all of them with. That's paid off. It's been really nice actually to wade a chalk stream. That's something that I wasn't expecting we were going to be able to do. But actually being able to get in the water, a squirrel's just thrown something at me off the tree. <laughs> this has been one of those days, hasn't it? Yeah, to be able to wade, to be able to nymph, to be able to do all that cool stuff has been really, really nice. And we owe a huge debt of gratitude to Simon and the really nice guys at Fishing Breaks who have let us come down and fish their river. Thank you very much. If you wanted, as we said before, if you want any more information on Fishing Breaks, fishingbreaks.co.uk or you'll find all the links and stuff in the description box below, as well as links to all the kit we've used throughout the course of the day. IB, say goodbye to these nice people. Yeah, I was about to say with all of that said, I do think, guys, that at least once in a lifetime, you should come and fish a chalk stream. The itching has been spectacular today, hasn't it? It's a very nice experience and Stay tuned because the next video is going to be of us on the river test. Yep, yep, third and final day on the river test. Really excited that, about that. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you guys again very, very soon. Bye, guys. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.